Hello again. As we've seen, it's been a rough start to Friday, but we are through the worst of it now. Here's what it all looked like from the SAT cam. There are two frontal bands there. They are sitting over the country, one right down the North Island, while the other is sitting over the Upper South Island. Shari Salwes flow over waters to the south and southern Tasman Sea. So the southwest flow everywhere tonight as the fronts move away to the northeast off the country. There's a few disturbances in the southwest flow, as well as some narrow ridges. So so it's a bit of a mix in the upcoming weather tomorrow. The main interest turns to a low currently well to the south of Western Australia. This is racing across the Southern Ocean and should be passing to the south of the country tomorrow night. Gives the eyes a buzz, a squeeze, so strong winds are expected over the lower South Island. Showers in the west and south clearing but linger along the far southeast coastal fringe. Fine elsewhere with west to southwest winds tending west to northwest and rising to severe gale about Fovo Strait. A clearing trend as any remaining rain in the northeast clears, leaving bits of cloud in the odd shower in the north and also in the west, and fine and sunny weather in the east, also about Wellington. Southwesterlies already over the southwest half of the island spread everywhere by early afternoon but tends strong northwest about Cook Strait. So showers morning and night for Invercargill and gale westerlies at times. Uh, Queenstown gets a few spots of morning rain, otherwise mainly fine for the south of the south. Early showers for Milford Sound, then fine spells and 17. Westport gets the odd morning shower, otherwise sun's out for the rest. Clear skies and lots of sunshine for the east. South westerlies turn northeast after lunch. Benham chasing a warm 25 degrees. Fine day for the lower North Island, but cloudy at times from Whanganui to New Plymouth. Fresh Norwesterlies about Palmerston North. Warm and sunny for Hawke's Bay, Gisborne and Marsitton. Uh, Westerlies tending northeast in the afternoon. Hastings and Gisborne aiming for a top of 28 degrees. Morning showers across the centre north, then a fine day to follow across uh, acro for everyone here. Uh, Norwesterlies and a top of 27 for Fakatani. And cloudy at times with a shower or two for the northern group. Fitianga gets a pretty decent day with lots of sunshine and a top of 24. Well, Dunedin, a few morning showers, then fine but high cloud thickening in the evening. Southwesterlies easing and turning northerly in the afternoon, then strengthening. 22 is your high. Good day for you, Christchurch. Fine with South Westerlies uh, turning to the northeast in the afternoon and picking up a bit of strength. 20 is your high. Sunshine and a top of 21 for Wellington. Norwesterlies uh, picking up strength in the evening. Scattered chance clearing Hamilton in the morning and fine break, uh, breaks increasing. Change to South Westerlies during the morning and a warm 24 degrees. Sun's out for you, Tauranga, with a change to south westerlies in the morning, but sea breezes near the coast in the afternoon. A warm 26 is where you're heading. And scattered showers clearing Auckland around midday, then becoming fine in the afternoon. Northwesterlies changing south west in the morning and 22. A high brings settled weather with sunny spells in the east and south up to Brisbane. Sunny spells for Alice Springs too. A trough may trigger thunderstorms in Perth and Darwin. Tropical cyclone Ula category 2 is moving northwest and is heading towards the southern islands of Vanuatu. Tropical trough brings rain and heavy falls to Fiji. A few showers for those eastern Pacific islands but sunny spells over Tonga and New Caledonia. Well, a west to south westerly flow over the country eases on Sunday as the ridge moves onto the country. The ridge moves away to the east on Tuesday as the front approaches the far south and the front moves onto the South Island midweek. So an improving outlook as we move through the weekend. Thanks to Kim for these pics of these friendly Hector's dolphins. Just swimming by to say hello as Kim was sailing in Littleton Harbour. Nice one. Have a great Friday night. Take care on those wet roads and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello again. Let's start with a quick reminder of the severe weather warning in place. The strongest winds are expected about coastal parts of Southland, Clutha and Dunedin, where severe gales with gusts of up to 120 kilometres an hour are likely from late tonight through to about dawn on Sunday. 
But here's a look at the sat cam. Most of the high cloud, the high frontal cloud off to the east now. We have a showery west to southwest flow following with the more active showers to the southeast of the South Island. It's flatter over the Tasman Sea with a ridge building in the west there. High cloud well to the southwest marks a fast moving low and frontal system which flies across the southern oceans and past the south of the South Island late this evening. It helps squeeze the eyes of ours up for a time and hence the wind warning there. An associated cold front makes its way onto the South Island reaching Cook Strait about midday. Most of the action heads away to the east. There is another weak feature sweeping along the west of the South Island but meanwhile the high of the Western Tasman Sea pushes eastwards with a firm ridge over the South Island by tomorrow night. So the southwest surge should be over central Canterbury and northern western reaching Cook Strait early afternoon. Mainly fine ahead of this change. Showers follow, then clearing in the west and also uh, will ease away in the south. Areas of cloud in the east with the odd shower about the foothills. The southwesterlies, a severe gale in exposed southeast places also gradually start to ease. Generally cloudy in the west, though Wellington is fine in the morning, fine in the east with southwest to northwest winds strong and gusty over the southern half and the southerly change arrives in the south after lunch, bringing some cloud in the odd shower for Wellington also in the east, while at the same time the southwest begins to clear. So a few morning showers for Invercargill, but they will clear in the afternoon and gale southwesterlies will ease. Mainly fine for everyone else is a strong southwesterlies ease, while Maru you get a top of 20. Showers clearing by midday and becoming fine for most of the west. A sunny Sunday for Nelson and a top of 23. Fresh southwesterlies dying out. Kaikoura becoming cloudy with a strong southerly change around midday. Clear skies for Benham and strong nor'westers turn lighter southeast in the afternoon. 26 is your high. The odd shower across the lower North Island, then fine as fresh nor'westerlies change lighter southeast in the afternoon. Kapiti live in and New Plymouth get a top of 21. Sunny with fresh westerlies for the east of the North Island. Masterton can expect a shower or two around mid-afternoon with a lighter southerly change. A hot 29 degrees for Hawke's Bay and also Gisborne. Sun's out for most of the centre north. Tokoroa cloudy at times with fresh southwesterly winds. Cloudy start for you too, Taupo, but it burns off quickly. And long sunny spells for the north, but Whangarei and Kaitaia are cloudy at times with a chance of a shower. Southwesterly winds in Paihia gets a top of 25. Well, windy first thing, Dunedin with southwesterlies, severe gale in exposed places, easing during the morning. Expect one or two showers too, and a top of 19. Cloud in the odd shower developing around dawn for Christchurch, with nor'westerlies changing strong southwest and easing in the evening. Top of 20 for you. Wellington's fine at first, but the odd shower early afternoon as strong northerlies change fresh southerly. 22 is your high. Cloud clearing Hamilton in the afternoon, southwesterly strengthening in the morning, then dying out around dinner time. 23 is your high. Nice sunny one for you, Tauranga, but southwesterly strengthening in the morning, then dying out in the evening, and a top of 24. Mix of cloudy periods, isolated showers, and fresh southwesters for Auckland, clearing early evening. 22 is the goal. To Australia, a ridge brings settled weather to southern and eastern cities. A few showers for Cairns, 38 degrees for Adelaide, 39 for Alice Springs with afternoon thunderstorms. <coughs> Severe tropical cyclone Ula sits between Fiji and Vanuatu heading southwest. Showers for Samoa and a few for Nandi. Sunny spells for the rest of the group. So a high covers the country on Monday, a low moving eastward should pass to the north of the country late Tuesday, while another low moves onto the south of the South Island. The second low is expected to move northeast on Wednesday, lying west of the North Island by evening, then weakening and moving north on Thursday, followed by a ridge. The third front approaches the far south late Thursday. So that's how we're looking over the next few days. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. Hello again, a pretty decent end to the weekend with mostly clear skies over the Tasman under a big high. There is some shower cloud affecting the west and southern parts of New Zealand. Tropical cyclone Ula is sitting over the tropics and there's a slow moving front northeast of New Zealand. So a weak cold front moves up the east of the North Island tonight and leaves a weak trough over the Bay of Plenty tomorrow. Uh, but a summary start to the working week as a broad ridge extends onto New Zealand with high sitting either side of the country. And that warm trough 
cutoff comes down from the tropics in the evening. So morning cloud clears the northeast and southern coasts. Otherwise, a lovely fine Monday for the South Island. Just some evening cloud for Fiordland. Northeasterlies, but westerlies for Southland. Cloudy over the northeast with a few showers over the Bay of Plenty and central areas. Becoming fine for Gisborne in the afternoon. Sunshine for the rest, though high clouds spreading in the south in the evening. Easterly breezes tending northerly at night. Morning cloud and a high of 18 for Invercargill. Fine and warm for Alexandria and Queenstown. Cloud top and tails today for the west, but lots of sunshine in between. Nelson, you get morning cloud and a top of 21. Cloudy start in the east too, but it burns off quickly. Ashburton aiming for a high of 23. And fine at first across the lower North Island, but cloud will creep in around dinner time. Light winds in Palmerston North and Levin get a high of 24. Cloudy day for the east with afternoon fine breaks for Hawke's Bay, also Gisborne. Napier gets a top of 21 degrees. Taupo and Rotorua are cloudy with a few showers as the northeasterly develops. Afternoon fine spells of Fakatani and a high of 22. And cloudy periods across the north, a few showers developing over Fidianga with a high of 21, 23 degrees for the rest. A good dose of sunshine for you, Dunedin, with sow westerlies dying out in the morning. Northeasterlies freshening in the afternoon and 19 is your high. Morning cloud, then fine Christchurch. Nor Easterly's freshening in the afternoon and 19 degrees. Wellington's fine apart from morning and evening cloud. Light southerlies turning northerly in the evening and 21. Hamilton's mostly cloudy with a chance of a shower. Easterly's and 22 is your high. Cloudy with a few showers for you, Tauranga. Nor Easterly's becoming fresh by afternoon, 21 for you. Morning cloud then fine spells for Auckland. A few showers are possible in the evening. Light winds and 24. A few showers for Cairns, Sydney and Hobart. Some afternoon thunder in Alice Springs and Darwin. But mainly fine for the rest of Australia with the capital heading for a high of 36 degrees. And a few showers for Fiji and New Caledonia as tropical cyclone Ula approaches from the east. Fine for remaining Pacific centres with Tonga heading for a high of 30 degrees. Well, looking ahead, low moving south eastwards should pass to the north of the country late Tuesday, while a trough preceded by nor'westerlies moves onto the south of the South Island, drying out over the North Island on Wednesday and showers becoming confined to the east. Rain for both sides of the South Island, with heavy falls expected in the west. And fine spells for the North Island on Thursday, a few showers in the west, South Island clearing in the east and northwest then fine. And to Friday, North Island showers in the west but clearing about Bay of Plenty, fine further east. South Island gets rain in the west and south but fine elsewhere. That is your weather. Have a great week. Dan's back with you tomorrow.